This is a story about a little girl who had a wide imagination of taking a bird, one of God's beautiful creations, and training it to leave its destination only to return home again. Hi, my name is LaPola Johnson. I am 16 years old and I attend McKinley Senior High School. I started off Lloyd Birds on October 23rd, 2010. It all started back in August when my daddy had mentioned it when we used to have other birds living in that Bruce area. But I watched a movie later on that month and I was like, this is kind of cool. So I was, so he made me do a month and a half research. Then we started going more into the business type area. She first became the proud shepherd of owning and tending to 26 homing pigeons. October 23rd, 2010 is when we finally started gathering birds and started the training area. I had to learn three different trainings and I started off the business with those trainings. And now the proud owner and founder of her new business, Glory Birds, she has trained the birds to not only be released properly, but she has also trained them to return back home safely. This chapel was being redone from where we got it from, and this is one of our leasing uh, chapels, which means the doves will be inputted from this, and when it's time for them to fly out, they will fly out through those double doors, just like a real church. With a heavy load of academics as a high school student and the commitment of tending to her new business of birds, a fearless and brave Laquilla takes on new added responsibilities. However, her most challenging and fearful task was taking on the responsibility of tending to her brother's farmer pet, Webby. This is Webby. He started off as my brother's experiment or what you would call a want, but later on, he had got pushed down to me. And the first day that we got him, I used to be really scared of spiders. But later on that night, I actually held him and allowed him to crawl on my hand. My goals for the future is to finish high school, then do my first four years at LSU to be a forensic scientist, and then I want to go all the way to Arizona to Grand Canyon University to get my PhD to become a college professor in the forensic sciences field. And as it stands, birds will always be a part of her life. And on a sun-filled day while riding down a particular street in a small community, one just might have the glorious opportunity of watching and viewing a most wonderful sight. A little girl with a great vision bringing her dream to fruition. Some of you may be asking, how do you train a bird? Is that even possible? Well, through our research, we learned that homing pigeons has a certain bloodline that allows them to come back home. After studying the birds more in depth, we learned how to allow them in the roost without getting back out. We, well, I personally take the birds, put them in the cage, and put them on top of the roof so they can look around. When it's time for them to come in, always take a bottle with BBs in it, shake it, and that tells them it's time to eat. Who wouldn't come home when it's time to eat? Then, I let them back in the trap. It takes weeks to allow them after they started take after they're taken from the nest to finally start flying. They'll, during that week of allowing them to actually fly and know where their surroundings at, they're already on the roof to start training. Then after train after after roof training, which means they sit on top of the roof. We let, we let them go on the roof, then call them in to make sure they understand what the call in for the food means. Then we start across the street, 
letting them back in where they can see the roof loose and then start taking them down and further down from different angles of the street to make sure that they are ready to go long distances.